Hey everybody, this is John Asraf, and I was sitting in my computer just a few minutes ago getting ready to finish my little paper on why the law of attraction doesn't work properly or in a positive way for 99% of the population. I actually think it's more like 99.9%. .9%. Now, instead of doing that and writing all afternoon, I thought, why not come into my backyard and enjoy this beautiful sunny day and just do a little video for you. And so here I am. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to put these sunglasses on. But here are my eyes so you and I can connect. But I'm going to put these on just so I can see a little bit better. And so the reason I made the comment about the law of attraction not working for 99% of the people is because most people don't understand the different energy systems in the body and really how the law of attraction works or what I prefer it to be known as as the law of resonance. Now when you have a desire, that gives you a certain feeling, a certain vibration when you really emotionalize that desire. But unless you keep that vibration going, it dissipates. It really isn't very strong. And so think about your desires as being conscious, using your imagination or using your deductive reasoning, your ability to choose basically, based on different options, what it is you want to achieve in your life. That's part of the conscious brain's responsibility. And that will emit a small little frequency, just like a bleep of light maybe from your refrigerator. But what you really want to have working for you are the hundred trillion cells in your body that vibrate based on the subconscious conditioning and the subconscious mind's programming. And so think about your conscious mind as the chooser, but the subconscious mind as the implementor. And the reason 99% of people will never achieve the positive results based on the law of attraction is because they think positively, but they have the beliefs, the habits, and the values possibly that are not in line with each other. And so let's say you want to make an extra $100,000 or $50,000 or a million dollars. Or let's say that you want to release the weight that you don't enjoy on your body. Or let's say that you want to find a soulmate that you're not with right now. It's not enough just to have the idea. It's not enough just to write it down. It's not enough to have a vision board. What you have to understand is you've got to get the conscious mind and the subconscious mind to line up. Those two signals have got to line up so there's something known as a coherence pattern. And when you have a coherence pattern, things are working well in coherence. Just like if you were to listen to musical instruments that weren't in tune or musical instruments that weren't in harmony with each other, you might make a lot of noise, but you wouldn't enjoy the benefits of a symphony. What I want you to understand is that you have to create an internal symphony between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and between your beliefs and your habits. Because if you have the desire and even if you emotionalize it and feel it and you impress it into the subconscious mind but you don't take action towards what you want to achieve, you'll never have the law of attraction work for you as well as it could. And so many of you are working so hard, trying. And the truth is there's nothing to try. What you have to understand is the law of attraction always works. And it works perfectly. If you're wondering what that sound was, that was my father in the background coughing. He's here from Israel right now. And I'm not even going to edit it just so you can enjoy some of the realness of life. And so here is the key. I want you to enjoy all the goal setting that you want. But I also want you every single day to start visualizing what you want to achieve. I want you to start using affirmations the right way. And I want you to start to meditate every day so you're in that frequency of abundance. But what I also want you to do is I want you to develop a blueprint, a plan for how you're going to get from where you are to where you want to be. You see, the universe will do most of the work, but it wants you in action also. And the law of attraction's last six letters was action, is action, but not just any action. You've got to have the right action in the right order and then apply it. 
So if you want the law of attraction to work for you, you have to understand it properly and work it properly. I hope you've enjoyed this little tidbit. I saved a lot of time by not having to write it down, but now you've got the video. Thanks, and there's more to come for you.